So do you remember what happened in the story we read yesterday? Oh, uh, we read the fishing trip. Yeah, what happened in the fishing trip? Uh, in the story, uh, son made me mistake in when they are fishing. Oh, and what was the mistake? Good memory. He he dropped the fishing boat. So. Mm -hmm. so Who were the characters in the story? Character um there is a grandfather and son. Nice. And which one made the mistake? Who dropped the fishing line? Son makes a mistake. Nice. And was the grandfather very, very angry? No. No, what what did he act like instead? Son was ashamed, but the grandfather said it's okay. Nice. Very good. Yeah, and the grandfather tells a story, right? About someone else who made a mistake? Who does he talk about? He went with the boy's brother too, right? Yeah. Do you remember that part of the story? He when he tells him about a mistake uh -huh. his brother made? His brother. Right, nice. Okay, before we start, I'm going to show you a picture, okay? And I want you to tell me three sentences about each picture, okay? Yeah. Okay, so anything that you think of. <clears throat> Building. Okay, so building is a word, right? Can you give me a full sentence? There is a building. Top. Nice. There is a building. Okay, that's one sentence. Great. Right. Two oh. more. There is city. Nice. There is a city. Okay, one more sentence. That building is a little like... Oh, fantastic. Oh, it's, I don't think it's just a little fantastic. I think it's really fantastic. <laughs> Why do you think it's fantastic? You can't make that easily. Ah, so you mean it's so fantastic, right, that it's almost like a fantasy. Yeah. Mm hmm because it's, um, it's not like a normal building, right? What's different about this building? Oh, uh, one and uh, building uh, that builds with one room and uh, one room and just to build up so you can mm -hmm. make that high building right it's the the different floors so we call each section a floor yeah. and each floor is kind of different right they don't just build yeah. up they're all different yeah, you know, this is actually a real building. Really? Yeah, it's not a fantasy. It's a real building. They just made it in New York City. Oh. Mm -hmm. What do you think the building is for? Uh, I think something like a company. Mm -hmm. A company? You know what? It's for people to live. It's apartments. Wow. Would you like to live in that building? Yeah. Me too. It looks very cool. You could see everything. It's so high. Well, I think, uh, I thought it was uh, something like companies. Right, like a company, a business maybe? Mm -hmm. well, Offices? It yeah, it, does, it looks like that. It looked like it would belong to maybe Disney or some oh, really big company. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you one more picture, and we're going to do the same thing. So make three sentences. Okay. Okay, this picture is also there. This is picture is more fantastic. It's like more unreal. Can you see where this picture is supposed to be? There is a hawk. Yeah, they're hawks. Nice. They're different kinds of, we call these birds of prey because they're huge birds. They're hawks, right? And eagles. We are killing them. No, they are alive. 
but they're sitting on little benches made of grass. And where are the benches? Are they outside? No, I, yeah, I oh, know. No, they're not outside. Where are they? Yeah, in the kitchen. So can you make a sentence about this picture? About this crazy picture? Uh, uh, hawks are sitting on the bench. The hawks are sitting on the bench. Nice. Okay, another sentence? And the uh, hawk is in the kitchen. Perfect. One more sentence. Uh, Hawk's leg is a uh, hawk can't move. Oh, okay. Nice. So if you're talking about just one hawk, one of the hawks in particular, you might say the hawk can't move. And if you're talking about all of them, what would you say? They. The or they, right? Yeah. The hawks or they can't move. Nice. Nice job. Okay, so are you ready to correct your homework? Yeah. Okay, I saw you already sent it to me. Yeah. So I'm going to share. You sent yeah. it. I know, you did it so fast. I said, here's your homework. And 10 minutes later, your homework was done. Yeah. Um, so so I, next time I will have to do more to homework. It was too I, easy. <laughs> okay. That time while my mom was eating. When I woke up, my mom and dad we said we have to go for, for a walk. So I was a little angry about that. When we walked the park street, it was very calm. So I forgot angry about walking. I feel better right away. I think walking with family on the park street is good. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to just take a look and see if there's any corrections we want to make. So yeah. we'll start with the first sentence. I take a nap while my mom was eating. So I noticed that you have the word take and the word was. So was is in the past, right? And take is in the present. So you have to choose. Do you want to tell the story in the past or in the present? Present. Okay, you want it to be all in the present. And is. Like, okay, so then we're going to say is. Yeah, well, we're going to change it so it's all the same, like it's happening right now. Yeah. I take a nap while my mom is eating. Nice. Okay? When I, so then what do we need to say? Woke up is in the past, right? How can we make it in the present? Wake up. Perfect. Wake up. When I wake up, my mom and dad said, what should we change? Said. Yes. Say, nice. My mom and dad say, we have to go for a walk. So I am. A, I am, and we say a little. Yeah. A little, right? Do you want a lot of pizza or a little? Just a little. Yeah. Just. A little. So I am a little angry about that. When we walk the park street, so I'm going to say when we walk on the park street, right? Yeah. Very calm. Uh -huh. Instead of was, what do we say? For present yeah. is. It is very calm. So I forget. Forget. Okay, so I forget. I like, I like this idea a lot. I forget angry about walking, right? Because you forgot that you were even angry. Yeah. Right? So but instead of saying I forget angry, we have to change this a little bit. We would say I forget that. I forget about being angry. We'll say that. I forget about, like, what did you forget? I forget about being angry. Yeah, because we say I am angry, like it's how I feel. So we use the verb to be, right? To be angry. I am angry. You are angry. Yeah. So you forgot about being angry, about walking. Nice. I feel better right away. Yeah. I think walking with family on the park street is good. Nice. So now can you read me that whole thing again? I take a nap time while my mom is eating. When I wake up, my mom and dad say we have to go for a walk. So I am a little bit angry about that. When we walk on the park street, it was 
uh, it is very calm. So I forget about being angry about walking. I feel better right away. I think think walking with my family on the park street is good. Excellent. Nice job. That was great. And I like how you use the same kind of words and emotions that they talked about in the story. Yeah. Right? Like feeling when it's calm and you start in the beginning, you're frustrated. Then it feels very calm. And then at the end, you feel better. Just like in the story. Okay. So we're going to open the book. And we are going to go to page 19. Ah, uh, crosswords. <laughs> Do you like the crosswords or you don't like the crosswords? Yeah, I like. You like them? Okay, nice. But so, I like the word to find most. Oh, word search or word find, either way. Nice. Yeah, I like those too. I like the ones that are very difficult and have words that are backwards and diagonal. Yeah. Up and down, all different directions. Crossword puzzles are harder though. Yeah. We have so, to yeah, you have to think a lot more. Um, what do you think number one across might be? What's the hint? Do you see that? Yeah. One and two, one and four. What does number one say? Sleeping. Okay. So what could be the same as sleeping? Mm. Napping. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Perfect. And how, how do you spell napping? N-A-P-P-I-N-G. Perfect. All right. That fits. Now four across. Uh, four. Uh, peaceful. Peaceful. What means the same as peaceful? Calm. Nice. How do you spell calm? C-A-L-M. Excellent. Okay. Two down. Embarrassed. What do you think? Oh, ashamed. Nice. How do you spell ashamed? A S N A M E D. A S H. Nice. Perfect. And that fits. Okay. And the last one, three down. Nervous. Nice. How do you spell nervous? N E R V O U S. Excellent. Nice. All right, and you're done. That was so fast. Okay, so what title are you going to choose for the I passage? Think A is the best. I agree. What does A say? Going fish. Exactly. Nice. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that um, the most, the funniest mm -hmm. choice, what do you think the funniest choice is? Uh, quiet today. I think my favorite, oh, my that this, yeah, that's the one I think is the most funny. Yeah, catching a shoe, <laughs> because if someone read that, they would not know, understand, right? Yeah. Catching a shoe. Okay, so now, our favorite exercise, the most difficult one. Yeah, the main ideas. Okay, so go ahead and look through them. And then when you're ready, tell me what you think the main idea for the first paragraph is. Mm. And if you need to go back and read, read the paragraph, that's totally fine. It's hard to do it all from memory. Finish. You're finished? All right. Okay, so what do you think? What is the first paragraph? What is the main the idea? paragraph is... See, the boy is nervous about going fishing. Perfect. Okay, how about the second paragraph? D, the boy describes sitting up on the lake and catching a fish. Excellent. And the third paragraph? B, the boy's grandfather makes the boy feel better. Excellent. Nice. Nice job. Yeah. So which one didn't we use? Oh, uh, A, the boy almost fell into the lake. That yeah. is the main idea. Yeah, that is not the main idea, right? It's what happened. Yeah, the main idea, do you mean what is, what does main idea mean? Yes. Or? What is the main idea? 
yeah, what is it mainly about? Actually, that's exactly right. Main idea is like, what is this paragraph about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it is not about the boy falling into the lake. Awesome. All right, page 20. The boy dropped his fishing rod into the lake. Nice. Uh, the boy's grandfather uh, fell uh, asleep at one point in time. Nice. Excellent. And number three? Which of the following is not true about the passage? D. The boy wakes up his grandfather to ask for help. Nice. That's right. He doesn't it's wake his not, grandfather up. He did not wake. Perfect. Yeah, that didn't really happen. Nice. Yeah. And number four? What can you guess about the boy? Uh, he does not go fishing often. Nice. Good choice. Why do you think that we know he doesn't go fishing often. How do we know that? Because he likes to eat fish for dinner is, we don't know. In right, we don't know. He never talks about that. That's right. What else? He cannot swim very well. Uh, they're going to fish, but fishing, but uh, swimming is not. Right, it has nothing to do with swimming. That's right. Mm -hmm. And what about? He is. He has many brothers and sisters. We don't know. Exactly. Yeah. We don't know how many. We know he has a Can brother, one or but two. that's it. Yeah. Or five. Mm -hmm. No, we have no idea. Perfect. But because the boy can't fish well, so I, I think he does not go fishing often. Awesome. Yeah. And he's nervous, right? Yeah. So if he's nervous, if he went fishing all the time, he probably yeah. wouldn't be nervous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. Good reasons. Okay, so our last thing we're going to do in the book today is write in your own words. So this is writing, remember? Yeah. So you're going to type me your answer to practice writing. Can you read me question number one? Why does the boy say I'm not the only one in my family who has trouble with fishing. Okay, so can you type me your answer? Uh, can I just say? You can say it first and then you're going to write it for me. Because remember, this part is practicing writing. So if you want to say it first to practice, that's good. What uh, do you think? Uh, because uh, uh, Someone who in the boy's family has trouble in fishing. Yeah, who else in his family? Do you remember? Someone else in his family had a problem with fishing. We talked about it before. Father? Not his father, but it's someone who is related to him. Brother? Yeah, his brother. Yeah. So how could you, can you write me a sentence to tell me that? Tell me that his brother also had, had trouble fishing? His brother has always trouble in fishing also, right? Yeah. His brother has also, and then we'd say also, <laughs> had trouble. His brother had also had trouble fishing. Nice. Okay. And number two. Can you read me the question? What sort of day is it when the boy goes fishing? Okay, so when they say what sort of day, like what was the weather like? Was it was it raining? Was it a tornado? What kind of weather was it? Mm, just sunny. Yeah, it was sunny, right? Yeah. Yeah, especially because we know the lake was calm. So yeah. there probably wasn't much wind. So how could you tell me it was a nice day? Can you write me a sentence? Tell me about that. 
Uh. Nice. His fishing day was sunny, right? So that's one way we can say his fishing day. Like, we could also say the day he went fishing, it, it was sunny. It was really sunny, it was nice out, it was calm. Okay, perfect. And you remember at the end of our sentences, we need to put something we call punctuation, right? We need yeah. a period. Okay. All right, so for homework, why don't you do this last question and page 21. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay, so let's write that. So homework, okay, so one, page 20, finish page 20, two, do page 21. So what is your homework? Uh, finish page 20 and do page 21. Awesome. And uh, Excellent. And then we'll be finished with this chapter. Okay. Nice. Do you have any plans for tomorrow? Are you going to do anything special? Uh, I have to go to school. You have to go to school. Yeah. Do you, but today you had a special contest. Do you have anything special tomorrow? Uh, I, I think nothing happened. Nice. It's good to have some normal days after you have big special days. All right, well, congratulations on your contest. Can you give me a high five? Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. Okay, and I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Andy. Bye.